we're going to be sharing our tips and tricks so that by the end of this video, you guys know how to do a cartwheel. Wait guys, before you do a cartwheel, you have to be warm and you have to stretch. So make sure you check out our warm up and stretching routines. We will leave those in the description box below. So if you have to go and check those out and then come back to this video, we'll be waiting for you guys. We'll be here. Step one, you need to have strong arms, so we're going to do some push-ups together. In push-ups, you can choose to do the basic ones, which are on the left, or the more advanced ones on the right. Another exercise you guys can do to build strength in your arms is to do a handstand on a wall. And we're going to try and hold it for as long as you can. Today, we're going to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. When you're doing your handstand, make sure you're locking in your elbows and pushing away from the floor. If you can't do a handstand on a wall, that's okay, just skip this step. Step three, everyone has a preferred leg, so to find out which leg is your preferred leg, go to kick up into a handstand and the leg you have pointed and step onto, that's your preferred leg. And that's the way you're gonna go. I'm a left legger, so I'm gonna point my left foot and go to the left. I'm a right legger, so that means I'm going to with my right foot pointed, ready to go that way for my cartwheel. It's great that we're up, so it's your birthday. <laughs> Step four is placement of the hands and feet. We're going to use these today so it's very clear where your hands have to be placed and where your feet have to be placed in a cartwheel. If you guys don't have these, obviously you're probably not going to have these, you can use like socks or use anything as marked. Well. Anything that's like flat. To show you guys that this placement works, Sam's going to demonstrate the right leg cartwheel right now. Remember, we're just focusing on hand and foot placement so your legs don't have to be high yet. By the way, guys, we're teaching you more of a acrobat cup today. If you do gymnastics, you guys will notice that you start and finish in this position because you're practicing to eventually do your cartwheel on a beam. But as an acrobat, you start facing the front and you finish facing the front. So to practice the correct placement of your hands and feet, we're going to do a baby cartwheel. A baby cartwheel is a smaller version of a normal cartwheel. Then when you get more confident, you can lift your legs higher each time. Also, a cartwheel has a rhythm, hand, hand, foot, foot. So maybe when you practice your baby cartwheel, have that in your mind or even say it out loud. So start pointing your toe, looking where you're going and you go hand, hand, then you jump over, foot, foot, stand up. So guys, when you're putting your hands down, make sure you are looking at the floor. Once you've mastered your baby cartwheel, try these exercises to help you with your straight leg cartwheel. So now we're gonna practice pushing off the floor. You are also practicing putting all your weight onto your hands. Make sure your leg is straight and your toe is pointed when you're doing this exercise to practice stretching your legs and pointing your toes in your cartwheel. Step seven is practicing your strapping position in the air. Stretch legs, point your toes, and you're holding this position just to get used to. So this is where you need to be in the middle of your cartwheel. But depending on your flexibility, your straddle position might be up there, and that's okay. Or it might be there, or it might be there. So Sam's going to start in straddle position on the wall. She's going to continue going to the right, this foot places down, close to her hands, that one goes over, her arms go over her head, and she finishes how she started. Here you're focusing on getting that foot underneath your body and as close to your hand as you can. This way you will be able to stand up after your cartwheel. So you start in the starting position, then you go bend, push off, hand, hand, foot, foot. And do this as many times as you can so that you can perfect your cartwheel and do the best possible cartwheel you can do. So you can start off slow, making sure your placement and everything is correct, but then once you're confident, start putting some speed into it and really kicking off the floor and whipping your legs over and standing up. Once you can do one cartwheel, you can try doing two in a row, three in a row, a whole roll of cartwheels. Once you achieve your cartwheel, guys, there are so many more fun tricks to achieve. We'll show you guys some now. It's important to have good technique in your cartwheel so when it comes to attempting a side aerial, you'll have more of a chance at achieving it. 
talking about side aerials, we actually have a tutorial up on our channel already, so definitely go check that out if you want to learn a side aerial, or if you can already do a side aerial, maybe our tips and tricks will help perfect yours. much for watching again we really hope this tutorial helps you guys <laughs> remember we post every single week so we'll see you guys next, next week. week see ya bye see you later make sure you're warmed up and stretched we'll leave our link to it in the video